Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at listening to and installing the dual capac exhaust with the dual side exit and black tips available for the 09 to 13 4.8 liter Silverado 1500. As you just heard from our sound clip, I'm going to give this 3 out of 5 on our loudness meter. It's a perfect daily driver exhaust for someone who doesn't really need a brand name option out there but still wants really high quality, a nice good volume above the factory one and something that isn't going to be overwhelming. Now this particular exhaust here, it's got some really good 409 stainless steel behind it and the sound that you just heard from our sound clip is a really nice daily driver option that gives you a deep growl, especially at idle, a little bit of a bark at wide open throttle, but it's still going to keep the drone to a minimum inside the cabin. You might get a little bit of drone at low RPMs, at highway speed, just something to keep in mind, but it's still something that you can have a conversation in the car with the family, you can still listen to music, it's not going to blow your ears out. Three out of five, I think, is a pretty fair rating for this one. Now, one thing I did notice taking our sound clips out on the road at deceleration, we actually did get a little bit of backfire, especially when we were sitting at an idle. It's something that gives you a nice, crisp, clean sound, a little bit of snap, crackle, and pop sometimes, just to give you a little taste of what you want, but it's not gonna be overwhelming. Now being 409 stainless steel throughout the entire kit with manual bends, it's gonna reduce all the kinks in the airflow so no more restriction like you'd get with your factory exhaust. 409 is gonna be good for corrosion and rust resistance. It's not gonna be as pricey or as durable as 304 stainless, but it's a lot more durable and corrosion and rust resistant than aluminized steel. So it's a good middle of the road option to keep price down, but give you some good quality. Now, if you're located in wintry weather areas seeing a lot of road salt, you might want to check in on 304 stainless if you want to spend just a little bit more money for a little bit more durability. But at the end of the day, 409 is still a good daily driver option. Now, as you can see, it is a dual exhaust. So instead of your factory single side exit that dumps behind the rear passenger side tire, this is going to do that same thing on both sides. So it's a dual split side exit as opposed to a dual rear exit. So depending on how you want your exit styles, this one might be for you. Now this tip selection is a slash cut four inch black powder coated matte finish. Now the black powder coating is on top of that factory polished finish, which is going to give you an added layer of protection. So the finish will stay like that over time and it also gives you a nice stealthy look at the rear end. Now, if you're not looking for black, they do have polished options out there to keep it a little bit more traditional. Now, that polished finish underneath of the black coating is something similar to the polished finish on your muffler there. The muffler is gonna be 304 stainless steel, so that's higher quality. Overall, if you're not interested in this exit style or this tip selection, there are other ones in the category to match it just to give you a rear exit style or something like that just to fit your personal preference. The price for this one in particular comes in right around 560 bucks, making it a pretty affordable option to get in the category. You get really high quality materials, but you're also gonna keep the cost down so it's not overwhelming on your budget. Now, the install I'm given two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter, it's not gonna be super difficult to tackle. Anybody can tackle it with very simple hand tools. I'm gonna to show you every step of the process. Keep in mind, guys, this particular install is gonna work for the 5.3 liter and the 4.8 liter. It's the same process. Overall, it'll take you about two hours from start to finish. Let's get started. Tools used in this install include an impact gun, a ratchet, extension, 10 and 15 millimeter wrenches, 10, 13, and 15 millimeter deep sockets. Recommended would be a 13 millimeter swivel socket. I also recommend a hanger removal tool and PB blaster or WD-40. All right, so before we get started again, it's worth noting that, remember, this whole uninstall process of the factory catback we're doing on our 4.8 liter Silverado applies also to the 5.3, so it's gonna be the exact same case. It's gonna start with this 13 millimeter clamp holding our factory catback to the cat pipe right here. Grab your 13 socket and loosen that guy up. All right, we don't really need the sockets anymore. We're just gonna switch over to a hanger removal tool, which I definitely recommend. Pry bar works as well. This is just a little bit easier. We have a bunch of hangers we need to pop out of some isolators. So grab your hanger tool or something similar, and you're gonna basically pry these guys out. Lubricating the hangers definitely goes a long way to make things easier. For that, you can use WD-40 or PB Blaster or something similar, just to help it slide out easy. All right, so now we can move down the line and get the next two. All right, for this next step, I have a pole jack underneath of our muffler supporting it. We're gonna pop off the hanger right above the muffler, really right over the axle too. Grab your hanger tool and pop that guy off. All right, having that pole jack or floor, floor jack definitely helped give it some stability there. All right, for this next one, you wanna be careful because this is the last piece holding this guy up, so it's gonna get pretty loose and wobbly. Once you pop this out, you can take the entire exhaust off all in one piece. All right, so this may be easier with a helping hand if you have a friend on deck to give you a hand doing this, but it can be done by yourself. Just make sure you're being careful because it is still all one piece.
All right, so we got our factory exhaust off, and it's on the ground here next to our dual exhaust. And I want to take you through some similarities and differences between the two kits here, starting at the front of our truck. Your factory one has a little bit more kinks than your new option here, just leading in to the muffler itself, but overall extremely similar. Your new kit does come in two pieces, three depending on your cab length and bed size combination, but you're going to have an adapter pipe that'll connect right up to your factory cat pipe. If you do not have a factory cat and you're using something like long tube headers, this can work depending on the size of your long tube. So this is a three inch inlet. So you just wanna keep that in mind to see if it'll match up to your new long tubes. So that's just something to note right there, depending on whether you're using the factory cat like we are or something like a long tube or shorty header. Now, depending again on your cab size and bed length, you may be using this extension pipe. We have an extended cab with the six and a half foot bed. So we're not gonna be using this. That does not work for our bed size and cab length, but you can consult the manual included in the kit to see if it fits yours. Moving on to the muffler here, obviously the factory muffler is absolutely massive compared to the Rough Country one. Now the Rough Country one is a lot smaller, has a single inlet and a dual outlet because we're converting from a single exhaust to a dual exhaust. That's gonna drop down from a three inch single inlet to a dual two and a half inch outlet exhaust with mandrel bends going around that spare tire carrier. Because we're going from single to dual, we do have to add another hanger to our driver's side because they didn't exist there before because it was a single exhaust. Going back to that muffler, your factory one's got a lot of baffling on the inside, minimizing that V8 sound that you really want to get out of your truck, whether it be a 5.3 or a 4.8. This Rough Country one is going to be a little bit less baffled, more of a free-flowing muffler, a straight-through muffler, to give you that increase in volume and aggression without having any of that drone you don't want inside the cabin. So it's going to minimize that drone, but give you that clear, crisp quality. Moving on, finally, we already talked about that dual exhaust. It's going to split out dual side exit, so it's not gonna dump straight out of the rear bumper, but to the side. So you'll still have it dump out the passenger side rear tire, but have the same thing now on the driver's side as well. Tips make a huge difference in this kit. One of my favorite parts of the whole kit. Your factory tip pretty much is non-existent. It's really just a piece of metal that's just slash cut, and that's really it. Your new tips are double walled slash cut four inch tips with a black powder coated matte finish on top of it. Now the four inches is obviously huge. Your factory tip was two and a half inches. So this is an absolute huge bump up. So this guy is gonna be a lot more aggressive. You're gonna get two of them. And the fact that it's matte black powder coating means that it's way more corrosion and rust resistant and it's gonna help give you a nice stealthy look. Speaking of corrosion and rust resistant, before we keep moving on here, your whole exhaust is 409 stainless steel, mandrel bent tubing, mandrel bent reducing the kinks, 409 being the middle of the way. You're not paying as a, much of a premium for 304, but it's still more resistant to corrosion and rust than an aluminized. Your muffler, on the other hand, is 304 stainless because that's definitely not what you want to rust out. A rusted out muffler changes the sound drastically. You have an exhaust leak, it can be miserable. So it's gonna have a higher quality construction there. Finally, guys, let's get to the install. Again, we're gonna start with the adapter pipe at the front, move on to the extension pipe. You're gonna use that depending on your cap size and bed length, and we'll move on from there. All right, now to install our adapter pipe, we're using our factory clamp, which we still have here on our cat. So you're basically just gonna line that guy up. You wanna make sure they seat on top of each other perfectly. And then you wanna basically align that clamp so it's right in between the both of them. Grab your 13 socket, and I'm not gonna over tighten this because you wanna leave room for adjustment to make sure it's straight. All right, so now you wanna put a clamp over that adapter pipe. Just gonna make sure that seat's all the way back. Grab your extension pipe, feed that over the cross member into that pipe and line it up also to the hanger on the frame. All right, hang this up and then tighten down that clamp. All right, next up, I'm putting a clamp over the single inlet side of our muffler and putting that up. I also have a pole jack supporting the weight of that pipe we just installed, just so it doesn't slouch down too much. All right, now you can grab your socket and tighten this down once you have it flat. All right, next up, I'm gonna start on our driver's side. I'm gonna install a clamp, one of our two and a half inch clamps, grab our driver's side pipe that goes around our spare tire carrier, I'm basically gonna slide this guy into the muffler inlet and you're gonna rotate it up so it connects to that factory hanger. All right, so now we can tighten down that clamp. All 
right, now we're basically doing the same thing on the other side of the muffler. Clamp first, plug it in, and then hang it up on that hanger. It'll slide right in there, just like that. All right, now, if your hanger is split like that, I'd recommend replacing it, but then you can move on and tighten down your clamp. All right, so now we can pop the hanger into the isolator uh, at the end of that pipe, right near our tire. We're almost on our passenger side, so we're gonna have one more curved pipe that'll go over to our tip. Make sure you have a hanger on the end of that, connect it to our tailpipe, angle it, right under that bumper so the tip won't connect with it, and then tighten on your clamp. All right, last step for our passenger side, throw that tip on. Tip uses a different clamp system. It's got one built in there. We're just gonna grab a 10 millimeter socket and wrench and tighten that down. All right, this next step's a little bit difficult to see, but if you look at your frame on the driver's side next to the spare tire, there's an open circle hole here. Directly above that is an oblong hole on the side. Grab the extra hanger bracket included in the kit along with one of these flat bolt plates. Put it through the outside, just like that. Put another one of those square bolt plates on the inside, right around that stud, and then follow it up with the nut included in the kit. This is how we're gonna install our additional hanger. Since we're going from a single exhaust to a dual exhaust, we need it to hang up on this side. I'm just gonna tighten this down by hand and then follow it up with our socket and wrench. All right, so now another isolator will slide on here. Right, grab your 15 socket and wrench, and tighten this stuff down. All right, so once you have that in place, just grab the red isolator and slide it on. All right, so now you wanna grab the next tube that'll attach to that isolator, put a clamp on the end there, slide this into place, lift it up and attach that to that isolator. Now we can do the next pipe that'll lead right over to our tip. Again, make sure it's aligned, pointing straight under the bumper so it doesn't make contact, and then tighten down your clamp. At this point, make sure you like the alignment of everything, make sure all your clamps are tight and you're good to go. That's gonna wrap this one up, guys. If you're looking for a nice cost-effective dual exhaust with the side exit and black tips, something with durable materials, but you don't have to break your budget, you can get yours right here at americantrucks.com.